Hey, Jono here. Thank you for joining me for the Hunter Call of the Wild. New game run in Hirschfeld in episode 16. Right. Um, I'm doing my classic thing where I can't remember what my plan had been. I'm pretty sure it's to head south. Southwest. And bag us a uh, red deer. Maybe I'll just quickly look at the other missions. Photos, the team boar, uh, the like, fellow deer, uh, Bondorf Lake. Right, yes, of course. The. Uh, okay, it's down south. And Hirschfeld in. Okay. That was going to be an annoying one. Three foxes, but yeah, let's let's get this um, let's get away from the house so that the music isn't roaring in my ears. Let, let's get red deer hunting. It's a bit of a climb to the top of Balk Bondorf, but the view makes it all worth it. Trust me. I don't trust you. Finally found some tracks for some red deer. I've had no luck with it. Why is she talking about the top of Bondorf? Haven't we already been there? Yeah. So, I don't know. But we've got a good amount of tracks. Well, a good good weight group here. Getting over 120 should be uh, pretty easy because, I mean, yeah, I think 120 to... 150 is the lowest weight class. So, yeah, 150 to 180. Oh, what happened to my 150? Oh, the wind could not be blowing any worse if I'd asked it to. Like, I really want to be heading east. I've only got the one here one outpost. I don't want to be going this way. I'd like to be over here somewhere. Might you just set a waypoint to here for now? No, oh, I mean, I'd be surprised if an outpost was there and it didn't come up. But you never know. Anyway, where where the actual tracks go to? This way. So yes, this mission should be pretty straightforward. The the problem really is that uh, John's Dorf, I I just find it like a dead zone when it comes to Red Deer. Not as bad as Bond of Canyon was in the past, but I certainly remember there being missions in this area, and it's like oh my god, like it takes like an hour to find one one deer. So luckily they're asking for one twenty, not. Not like 210 or something like that. Yeah, there's nothing here. My tracks are still here though, that, that kind of worked out. Yeah, that's right, we've been past here before. It's kind of a tease that there's an outpost. Well, what looks like an outpost, but it isn't. I could hear something. No. So I'm hoping I'll get lucky and just spot one in the distance, but yeah, it's bad enough, like. There have been barely any red deer here at times, but... Alright, how old? Very old, yeah. But with all the hills and the canyons, like... It's a real crappy spot to hunt. Mm. Oh, it's weird to hear a warning call. Normally it's inaudible, but it's a female one. But will I get lucky? Um, 
me try the cool. Terrible, terrible spot. There's someone. Very carefully listening. Okay. Problem is this, yeah. Typical that I'd catch up to a red there and like just a crap location. Fox. Well, I don't know. Don't know how big it was. Okay, is this a need zone for red deer? Could really help. Haha! -ha. I see you. 120 to 150. Really? The one, one that... <sighs> don't want... But you, also 120 to 150. Ah, terrible spot. I'm gonna go with the rifle. Problem is, that angle is horrible. What I'm gonna do is just, I don't trust that other one. No, I might like it's actually behind a, a rock and I'll be extremely annoyed, but this angle is horrible. Is this gonna hit the lun? Ah, screw it. I can always try and shoot another. Yeah, see, didn't hit a vital. So annoying when you're on that angle. Like, I've had that in the past where you think you'll hit the lun, but the bullet just sort of glances off them almost. Might be enough to down her. I don't, I don't know, but. And of course with every tree in existence being right here, I, I can't, I can't really just line up another shot. Alright, 50 to 75. Ugh. Of course, can't shoot because I'm wobbly as hell. What's this? Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't died yet. Which... Would imply... That it's not going to. Because yeah, that's where the hunting pressure should be. Yeah, this is absolute garbage. I totally, totally, uh... I knew, I knew I should... Get 
close enough. Yeah, I want to see you. Oh my god, it's right there. Stupid breed fox. Yeah, alright, 25 to 50. Oh, it died. Yay. Terrible, terrible shot. Um, okay, it was with this group, I take it. My What I should have done was gone with my gut, and my gut was just, like, walk close enough until it stands up. It stands up, you get a shot at the side, just take it. But... I was like, no, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to hit the lung, but that resting position is such a pain when they're like, got their back to you like that. Side on's not a problem, and even front on, you might be able to hit the chest and get the lungs or even the heart. But, yeah, side on does nothing but no in my luck it'll weigh under 120 kg <laughs> I'd almost uh, be happy with that because then it will be such a rubbish attempt I mean honestly I may as well just like walk to where uh I might as well just waited where, where I was. It looks like it's gone, yeah, almost in a complete circle. If I was lucky, I'd be able to spot that female. Let me just, let me just have a look. Harvest the other one, but... At least I could complete the mission decent, decently. That's a weird. Problem is, it's one of those things where you always think you're right on the lip of looking over, and then there's just, you know, more. To hell with it. I want to move on. I've been playing for nearly 25 minutes already, like, it took ages to find tracks for a DSO. Screw it. There you are. Let's see this horrible shot. Yeah. No we near. Because it was facing basically that way. And you think you're hitting decent the deep but no completely stupid angle uh actually and how much 127 kg mission complete okay ah okay yeah once again this shitty part of the map i don't like it um let's head I will highlight Connie's mission, uh, sorry, this one. Three foxes, this area. Um, but we're also going to look for boar. Oh, I feel like the loading time's really long in um, this reserve. Okay, I'm just going to set a waypoint to here, see if I find any, uh, what's the word, points of interest on the way, you know, part of discovering the, the map as you go. We want to open up outposts so that we have an options, we have options for where we go. Um, Three foxes here, and I think we need nine, a hundred kg plus balls. Yeah, I know I said it last time, but uh, it would be so much better 
if uh, they just would like get a thousand kg of boar. You shoot one that's 200 kg, well hey, you're you know, 20% of the way there already. But instead you need to shoot 10, such a excessive amount. But at least it's not limited by anything else. What have we got here? That's not the castle, no. It's a point of interest. I'll ignore it for now. And I don't care about Rodia. So Red Fox is gonna be messy. I believe because I don't have any need zones. Um, we're gonna have to work with what we've got. And just his red fox, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, fox it does not say male. No restrictions. Just fox. So at least I don't need to worry about about that. Yeah, fox and coyote hunting is a real, real headache. I, well, I say that, like, probably, there's two ways you can go about hunting them. I, I mean, they're both, they behave exactly the same. Um, they may, they're basically, it's just the same animal reskinned. But, you're either in a situation where you have a need zone, and, and what I would do with that is I would go to that need zone um, at least half an hour before it activates. Find somewhere to... Oh, I might check these cornfields. Find somewhere to like have cover and, and try and be uh, upwind downwind to them. I always get confused which ones. I think you want to be up wind. Or you want here. I think. No spot sink. No. The the wind part can be tricky because you don't know where the animal is going to travel in from. You know, let's say there's a need zone here and I find my cover and I'm down waiting here, like that, there, that, that log or whatever it is. And let's just say for sake of the argument, I'm in cover. Well, let's say I'm here. Am I in cover? Maybe over here. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I'm in cover. Let's say the need zone's here. And I'm like, cool. So that's one thing, cover. You can tell I'm in invisible because the little icons just turned into a transparent, tiny little line. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm here. But for all I know, my animal's going to come in from here. So it's going to smell me and bolt. It's it's the gamble. Uh, depending on your setup, um, you might be able to work around that. For instance, uh, needs owned by a lake or something, you might be able to find cover where the wind's blowing across the lake, and obviously a coyote's not gonna, you know, cross paths with it. Um, also, it depends how you found the need zone. The other day I was tracking a max weight um, mountain lion. I forgot about the geese. And I found its need zone. And because I had seen the tracks of the way it had come, I, I knew it was going to come from the north. So I positioned myself uh, south of the need zone so it would walk towards me. Because I had the wind blowing that way so I knew set myself up on that angle. 
so yeah, that's that's how I would approach coyote slash red fox hunting with need zones. I don't have any here, do I? Well, it's a bit different because I'm not actively looking. Like, I'm just travelling, hoping I'll just be alerted to one, or I'd find tracks and, and I'll track it down. Because otherwise, what will most likely happen... Uh, I don't care. Um, in this case, is I'm going to be running along and then it's going to most likely bark at me. And... Then I'm going to have to work with whatever I've got, and it's it's harder that way, to be honest. That's the way I'm going now, because I just am more focused on trying to get some boar. Oh, rabbits. Oh, yeah, European hares, that's right. Um, We've come here because the coyote, uh, the red foxes have to be downed in this area, but there's also boar, so I might get lucky and, and bag, bag some boar while I try and find coyote. Er, foxes, sorry, I keep calling them coyote. So yeah, what I'm more, more likely to do is spook one. Or at least alert one, I should say. And then I have to work with... Um, I'll just cross, I'm not sure if the water's shallow enough, I don't want to... This time. I have to work with whatever I've got available to me. And that's why, like... I was just gonna say, if the coyote came from this direction, like a warning call... With the wind blowing away, I'm just not going to bother. They're super alert. They're not going to get close enough with with you um, being yeah downwind to them or upwind to them. So it's a waste of time. I've hoping that they'll come from the west, which is why I shall try and run into the wind whenever whenever I go hunting. Let's just see if I can get up to the boar often, depending on the time of day, can be in a really Oh my you're not gonna let me walk up there are you? Yeah, now I'm getting warning calls, aren't I? Because you're stumbling around. Alright. Make as much noise as possible. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is not going to work. I'm going to just run at them and maybe flush them out. Alright, I made it up there. Now, pretty sure I need males to make the 100 kg. This is all levels are terrible. I'm just having a real, real bad run today. I should have just bailed on on these ones. Should have just totally ignored it. They're really annoying for their resting. They often are just in thick, dense bush and getting a clear view of them. So annoying. And now that the game's also broken their warning cry, you don't know if they're like, well, I was going to say remotely close, but you don't know how close they actually are. You really want to find them when they're in an open space and you can pick them off. What's this for? Red Fox traveling that way apparently. That wind. No, let's just carry on north.
That's right, I thought about the cornfields. Straw fields, whatever. Just nice open space if they happen to be there at that time. Makes it so much easier to to bag one or two. Ah. Yeah, see that was very close. A little too close. But this is what I was talking about. Gone the warning call. Now I'm hoping. Hoping I can get into cover. But then also I got the problem of the, this hill. How? Ah, uh, okay, you're not going to give me cover. So this is a garbage situation, so I'm actually going to push on up. That pistol was at cover, class is 3. Mm. Pretty sure there are 2. Get rid of that. Waypoint. So yeah, this is what I mean, it's much, much harder coming across them in the wild. Chances are it's long gone anyway, but hard to tell. Because it sounded pretty close when it called out. I see you. See if I had cover, this would be a better um, situation. Don't know if this actually means anything to them being in cover but not invisible. See, I think it's in this bush. I'm lucky I happen to spot it, but it's uh, pretty annoying, yeah not an ideal spot. So I have no way to gauge too, it might be way down here, it might pop up, this tall grass really makes it messy. If I stand up, of course I'm more visible, might just try Pushing on forward. Just to see. See if I can spot. Spot it, but I don't know if it's even. I would have thought I would hear it. Play. Yeah, this is probably not going to work out. I'm most certainly going to spook it, and it's a case of it might work in my favour. I feel like I just really need to break through. this layer what's still this 
invisible. Chances are it's with that last warning call it's probably gone. Question is which way did it run? And that's where you can get lucky sometimes. You really want to set up that. Yeah, it's probably a resting zone near. It's war. Yeah, I don't. Don't have the foggiest. Ah, thank you. See, this could work. If I can convince it to come out. I'm not in cover, which would be nice. That would be perfect if I had cover. Because it will probably be reluctant to break out. It's the theme of coyotes and red foxes. They, they like to try and circle you. So you're going to keep a relatively wide field of view. So whether it's, yeah, might be too, too cautious to actually come out. Or no, my luck, it will... Just go in a direction that, yeah, that boulder beam is a real pain. I think it went too many. Yeah. So we're where are you? Cause this can be the problem when you when you when you're nervous like this state can spend forever. Ah, oh, you just gonna run out. Yeah, this is what's talking about with the whole. Ah, that's interesting. I'm gonna take the risk, especially because he's alert. Okay, cool. Um, I was going to say, I was going to take the risk at shooting at it while it's mining. Can I have my... thank you. Because I wasn't sure if it's actually behind a rock or a bit of a hill or whatever. So, alright, nice gold, a little high up. <laughs> that face. Look how fluffy it is. Alright. A nice red fox. One of three. So yeah, there, there you go. It takes a while, like, you've got to be patient. You've got to also know when to just, like, uh, bail. It's no good having yourself in cover where the only way you're going to get a clear shot at the animals if it stands on top of you because there's no way a red fox is going to stand, like, two metres away from you. You might get lucky and have it coming close by but yeah you're, you're definitely not going to to be able to, to bag it from that closer range interesting if that was the one that was 
calling out though, because I'm not sure why it would just decide to lie down. I need to give it up. But yeah, see I wanted this sort of thing. Sometimes you just get lucky and there's ores just in that. I mean I'm not looking remotely at the um the need zone times and all that, so yeah, I should be playing smarter, to be honest, and be like, right, well, is it their drinking time? If it is, there's no point looking where I am. Yeah, see, here's another situation. Where I'm exposed. This shouldn't make a difference, but I always do it. I always do. I don't. I don't know why. I. I know when they're startled, nervous. They don't respond. Like you know, it's not going to come check me out. But I've always just given out a call, like I'm trying to like convince it that what it's hearing is. A distressed bird or something, whatever the call is called. I'm sure I saw something just up there. Yeah, there you are. Calm is good. Another one. Alright, so that situation went much better. Don't know if I had a vital though. I also want that to come up as its thing. There we go. Alright. Two down, one to go. Yeah, that one definitely wasn't as concerned. Yeah, he shot way too late, just missed. Alright, I'll continue going where I was actually planning on going. Might get lucky and come across a third one. Yeah, when it comes to the pheasants, I'm not not a fan of, of hunting them. I'm certainly glad that they didn't have these in, in this reserve and have, you know, 10 missions devoted to them. It's fun in the right situation to hunt them, but in like Rancho del Arroyo, it's just more headache inducing than anything. They're always in an area where there's no visibility. They take off well before you can can um you know get a clear shot. And because they have to be in the air, I mean you could use the 22, but it's much, much more difficult shot than with the shotgun. But I won't mind so much if if, um, if you could down them while they're grounded, that would be fine, but but that's not allowed. Alright, let's quickly grab this. Okay. I'm going to also just head to here. Because it's nearby, I'm just wondering if there's 
wondering if there's uh, an outpost. I'm running low on time. So it would be nice to have the outpost sorted before I call it a day. I shouldn't look. I mean, you're landing. Ever since seen that diamond Canadian goose just flying to its destination, I'm like, why, why look? All you're doing is torturing yourself. I would really like to add a um, a diamond Canada goose to my collection, but. Yeah, the one I spotted. Oh, there's nothing here. Odd. Well, I might as well just go a little, little farther north. And then visit the outlook post. All these four boar. No, right really there. I always overestimate the, the size and class of the red deer. Like, even their poops are just, like, tiny. I, I always think that they should be... ...much... ...bigger. Much bigger tracks. Much bigger stool. Much bigger... Not so much weight, but even class. I'm always like, oh, aren't they like a... ...an eight? I was like, no, they're a six. Emails. I'm gonna shoot you for noticing me. Yeah. Easy money. They're nearly um spooked and didn't die. Double run. Nice quick. Oh, okay. Keep thinking I'm seeing boar tracks. They've got the same kind of size. It totally makes sense that they'd be red deer considering we've just spooked a whole bunch. So yeah, I'm gonna check out this outpost, try and work out with the nearest... Um, sorry, check out this lookout point, find the nearest outpost, and that will be it. A relatively quiet episode. I spent, yeah. Ah, well, this might actually solve that for me. Yeah, never mind, I won't go there right now. Yeah, you would have thought there's one there. So, yeah. Nice and. and, uh. Simple, I'll say. No luck with the boar. I mean, the, the group I came across was just in a stupid location. But, hey, at least we got two red foxes out of the way. One more to go. And with the boar, it's a big grindy mission, but you don't have to do it in any specific area. So it's kind of good to to just chip away at, at um, other missions. In other areas, obviously you want to be where boar actually go, but I need to look at, maybe I'll do it next time, I need to look at the mission Tressler number 3 for here, 
Unless there happens to be some on this part, but... Yeah. You never know, I might get some here, but... Yeah, I have to look at the older footage, because I could have sworn I found tracks right in this sort of area. And go from there. So, that's it for this episode. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and take it easy.